Today we're going to do a review on Gemini 2.0 flash image generation experimental. Well done my fellow Googlers, we're still really bad at naming stuff. I will live with this, I probably can't come up with a better name. So many friends in and outside Google have told me to try it and they told me it's really great throughout the whole week. As I shared with you in my AI trend video, my perspective is that AI trend will be beyond chatbot and multi-model will be a key part of it. Also industrial and application layer will be the next exploding point. If what I heard from my friends is true, it's aligned with my previous view and Google's AI Gemini is moving faster than I thought. That's why I'm super interested. Let's see if we are there already. Here are a few disclaimers I'd like to make. I'm testing the public version, not the internal version, so nothing secretive. Google HR, please look away. Secondly, this is not sponsored. I will try my best to be objective. Third, I'm biased, of course, because I work in this company, but I will try my best to be objective here. Currently, you can only access this feature in Google AI Studio, not in the normal Google search like AI mode or AI overview. Just come to google.com and search for Google AI Studio, and then you can click into this. It probably will ask you to sign in with your account if you come into this place first time. So just finish the sign in and then if you want to use the latest image generation, you have to make sure you get into the right model. The model is Gemini 2.0 Flash Image Generation Experimental. I'm not going to mock the name again, but this is a really, really long name. So make sure you are clicking the right one. And then the output format needs to be images and text. There are also some additional safety settings. I turned those off because I don't want any of those to block my content. But if you want to have kids friendly, work environment friendly content, I suggest you can turn it on. This is how you access the feature for now. There are several reasons I can guess why it is not available broader yet. First of all, from the name experimental, this is obviously not production ready yet. So it makes sense for this feature to be not in the production environment. We do already have many production AI features at mass scale. For example, AI overview and AI mode and Gemini app. I assume once this feature is mature enough, it will roll out to all those mature surfaces. Second, it needs more signals of how much benefit it will bring. No doubt this feature at mass scale is going to be very costly, but I believe Google has the ability to scale up to US and global like the rest of the AI features. We just need enough justification to do it. For example, there are signals people like it, it brings in more queries and it has product market fit. Then we can throw in more chips to scale this feature up. All right, enough talking, let's start testing. This is the first test case that came to my mind immediately once I knew the image generation feature. I really like to test mathematic related stuff, especially with images, because it can show the model's ability to understand the image and also reasoning behind it. This is probably the easiest example of a geometry question. I ask if Gemini can understand this image and tell me what's the value of x. Most of my audience probably know the answer should be 8. This is the answer Gemini generates and gave it to me in split second. So the final answer is 8 meters and they got it right using the right theorem. So I'm not super impressed because this is a simple question and I expect Gemini to solve it. So let's try something harder. This is a harder geometry question. I got it online. It's actually a Switzerland contest question. So this is definitely not easy. At least I can't solve it without some serious calculation and probably a lot of time. So let's try on Gemini. I asked Gemini if you are the best math teacher in the world, calculate VC for me. And it tries to break it down into different steps. This is actually a very clear explanation of the chain of thoughts. And then it gave me the wrong answer. Since Gemini explained itself really clear, it's easy for me to debug where it goes wrong. It's actually pretty simple to catch. They thought ADC is 60 degree, which is not. So then I pointed out ADC is not 60 degree, DAC and DAB are 60 degree. And immediately Gemini correct his answer based on my feedback. And with a very lengthy calculation, it got the final answer correct. So I'm super impressed, although there's a little mistake of image understanding. They misunderstood ADC to be 60. But once I correct it, 
again, because they made it pretty clear in the chain of thought explanation. Once I made it clear, they were able to calculate it accurately using AD equals to 100, AB equals to 2AC, and the understanding of this triangle. So I'm super impressed by this section. Well done, Gemini. Up to now, we have tried mathematic questions, and Gemini is pretty good at understanding the image and do reasoning deduction based on that understanding. So let's try something from an image understanding wise harder. Explain how electric work to a high school student, break it down to key knowledge points, and for each point provide a picture to illustrate. So as you can see, they got all the text pretty accurately. On the other hand, the image, you can see what they're trying to illustrate, but the image is not that accurate, especially the text it doesn't make sense. It's similar for each section. They got the text pretty accurate, but the image sometimes don't make a lot of sense. For example, this one, it's not even a valid circuit. And then the Ohm's law, this one is probably not the best illustration, although the text is correct. And this one is also not a valid circuit, I would say. As you can see from a text generation perspective, they got it pretty accurate. But once you need accurate information in the graph, especially if you need text in the graph, it tends to hallucinate and give you the wrong one. So this is still a problem. All right, let's try something else that's less academic and more fun. Now let's move to the fun part. Let's say I want to do some baby shopping stuff based on a image that I saw online. This is the sketch. I want Gemini to understand this sketch and then render it with actual material so I can picture it. So this is the prompt I use and it did a pretty good job. It's a good baby bed that I would buy. If I tell them I don't like the color, it changed the color according to my text pretty accurately. And then I want to change the pattern to animals instead of flowers. It did pretty well. And then I want a different angle view. They gave it, although it's in different pattern and color, but this different angle generation is pretty awesome. And once I pointed out that I want all color purple and animals, it did pretty well. And this is the fun part. I put my own image and I want Gemini to generate an image with this man pushing the bed gently. It did pretty well. Although the face is not myself, but a total stranger probably won't notice this. And this man is pushing the bed. And once I tries to provide more information and regenerate the image, they gave me something like this, which is more accurate, I would say. This is pretty cool. Gemini can basically massage this image in any way that he wants. So this is really, really powerful. I have a lot of fun doing this. And I imagine if this kind of image editing capability got released to the whole public, it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to see a bunch of crazy content. I look forward to it. All right, more test case that's kids related. Hope you're not surprised given my channel name is Martin is a dad. We have so many tales, books at home, but often I still run out of stories to tell my daughter. So I want Gemini to help me. First, let's try something simple. I asked Gemini to generate a story with picture about the famous crowd drinking water in 3D cartoon animation. It did pretty good. It gave out the scene, text describing the image, and then it generates the image that perfectly aligned with the text. And then there's the narrative, I like it. And then it generates the second scene, which is in the pot. And then it generates the third image, which is the crowd found the petals. So as you can see, the crow style is pretty consistent. You can tell it's the same crow. I'm pretty impressed. To be honest, I've tried out different AI image generation tools and it's difficult to maintain consistency for character within the same context. As you can see, you can pretty much tell it's the same crawl. It won't break character, although this one does break the physical law a little bit. I assume it's a hallucination problem. The image consistency is pretty awesome. Well done, Gemini. So now let's try something harder. I want Gemini to give me fresh new tales. So let's say I want to generate a new tale and it's going to be about how it's bad for health to eat too much candies and good to eat vegetables. You might notice I'm forcing the main character to be a cat instead of human. The reason is that Gemini is blocking all the image generation if you use human as main character in the image. I can understand why they're doing this given the previous disaster. 
but not allowing a human in the image is only a short-term solution that might work in experimental mode. Before it rolls to production, let's fix it and allow a human in the picture. It's a major pain to use this tool if it doesn't allow human characters in the image. So back to the testing. Gemma is able to create a really lovely story in split seconds about a little cat and the little cat have a sweet tooth. One day he feels his legs are weak and tired. He bump into a wise old ladybug that tells the kitten eating too much sweet is not healthy and the kitten should eat more vegetables and then the kitten is back to healthy. So this is a really cute story with some twist. And I asked Gemini to put the same story in 3D cartoon animation style. And it did a pretty good job in generating image description, generating image according to the image description. Again, the character in the image shows great consistency. I'm amazed by how this tool can maintain the character consistency within the same context. You can pretty much tell this is the same character. As you can see, the kitten under the guidance of wise ladybug starts eating carrot again and back to healthy state. So even with different poses, you can tell it's the same cat. Only little bug is right here. As you can see, there's a little wing on this cat. So I assume this is another hallucination case in the image. But overall, well done, Gemini. So one great use case for this image generation is cooking tutorial, right? And Kung Pao chicken is probably one of the most famous Chinese dish. See how Gemini does it. I'm not an expert in cooking, but I think it's doing the right thing. Marinate and then sauce ingredients. Then this image is pretty real, including the knife. And then the sauce looks really good. And then the pepper, chilies, this actually look very good. The final effect looks pretty good. Well done, Gemini. I bet this is gonna change how people cook if it got released to the whole public. So up to now, we have tried kid stuff, education, mathematics. Let's try something more difficult, more professional. I want to see if Gemini is able to do a designer's work. Do a professional original design of character from scratch based on the Chinese myth Sun Wukong. Use picture to demonstrate each step and start with the line drawing sketch. So Gemini is able to do it with all the right explanation and then the right drawing. I'm not an expert uh, in game design, but this looks okay to me. And then it starts to refine this and add more details in the armor, weapon, and then add color and more colors, more details. After this, I asked Gemini to make it 3D and it did pretty well in a 3D style and in different angles. And I asked Gemini to put this character in a 3D game for a demo. It actually did in five seconds, really fast, and it gave different scenarios, even combat. This is pretty cool, right? I thought this is gonna be harder for AI, but now I take it back. Right now, I think for anything that don't require accuracy, in this case, for a scratch design, it doesn't require accuracy. For anything like that, it's easy for AI to do it. For example, you, you wanna start a draft design or wanna try out some ideas, just use AI to do it. I did this in less than 30 seconds. And once you need to refine it, you need more accuracy in the result, then you can fine tune based on the result that AI gives you. But this is really powerful drafting and brainstorming tool. Let's try something even harder. Architecture is the one thing that I feel requires both accuracy and beauty. So let's try architecture. Let's start with a simple one. I got this draft design online and I asked Gemini to render based on this image. Gemini responded with something weird. I can't tell the difference. So I asked Gemini if it can make it 3Ds and with different angles. Then it gave out all these in split seconds. So it's pretty impressive. 
And then I asked Gemini to add more colors to it. It looks really good. And I want to have more angles, including the backhand side. It's able to generate it. From an accuracy standpoint, I want to say it's pretty impressive. If you look close enough, you can see this is the front with so many windows here. And it's auto-generated the back with three garages. So this is the back and this is the front and this is the side. So from an accuracy and consistency standpoint, I think it did pretty awesome. So this time, let's try something harder. Instead of just rendering from existing design, I want to ask Gemini to design from scratch a two-floor single-family home and demonstrate each step with pictures. This is what Gemini gave me. It's pretty interesting design, open concept living, which means it's just one big room without barrier on the ground floor, then three bedrooms and two bathrooms on the upper floor. I would say it's interesting design based on my real estate knowledge. Let's take a look at the design. So as I expected, Gemini can't handle text within the image really well, as we've seen previously in many cases. In the design, it mentioned the ground floor should be open concept living, which means it shouldn't have so many rooms, so it have hallucination problem. Let's take a look at the second floor. The second floor is 3B2B, which is good. Same problem with the tax. Other than that, the design interior, exterior looks pretty consistent. And then interior, exterior, yeah, it looks pretty good. Other than the ground floor and the text within the image, it did a okay job. It's pretty consistent with what we have seen in previous test cases. The consistency is great. However, text within image is not good enough and there are hallucination cases. All right, that's all the test cases we're gonna do for today. Let's jump to the summary section. I would like to summarize our reviews up to now. First, the image understanding and modification is really, really powerful. Secondly, the consistency within each thread between the images is really good. It's a lot better than what I've tried before in many other products. Third, it's really great in exposing chain of thoughts, helping Hillman to debug for you in case there are some facts that you got wrong from the image. I have been using ChatGPT and DeepSeek too, and Gemini is by far the best in explaining themselves. This is a really good strategy, please keep up on focusing on helping user and giving user the control. Fourth. It's a very strong tool for a task that doesn't require accuracy, where hallucination is less harmful. Fifth, it's still a pretty good tool to bootstrap for a task that requires accuracy. It's gonna save you a ton of time of grunge work. Sixth, it still have lots of hallucination, especially on text within the images. Seventh, not allowing humans to appear is just painful to use. With all those summary, it's safe to say for designers, architects, Gemini is a pretty good assistant. Probably spend 10 seconds and finish 80% of your grunge work, and then you can start refining based on it. So this will increase productivity for you all for sure. This is still not ready to replace any of the row yet, given the hallucination rate is high. But work that requires less accuracy, for example, coming up with children's book or cooking guides, this level of free AI power will change the market pretty quick. Now don't get me wrong, I think from a technical standpoint, it's not rocket science to improve the quality and hallucination rates in specific areas. You can fine tune the model with additional resource so it aligns with human expectation, even for architects. The real question is whether it's worth it. It could be totally possible, like from an ROI standpoint, it's cheaper to hire designers and architects than to create a better task-specific fine-tuned model. But as the cost came down, this assumption might change. So all industries will eventually face the same question, how to work with AI and become 10x or 100x more efficient instead of being useless and replaceable. All in all, if Gemini keeps improving the quality and hallucination rates while maintaining a float financially and if they can scale it to google search the impact could be really huge it could bring the future to us the way we work and live will see very obvious changes so i really look forward to it and hopefully this video is helpful and inspiring for you so you can already start thinking how to incorporate ai into your life your work to increase your productivity so we can do better for the next 10 years see you in my next episode bye